lots of drugs and sex going I'm terrified of that happening. You know, I think about Barry dying and, and my mom finding him someday. And just... I've been thinking a lot about why I didn't trust you with the truth about Peter. I, I always thought that I was angry at the group. Really, I was just angry at myself. And then I was angry at you. I didn't want you coming in and fighting my battles for me. I mean, I still don't. But I trust you. I don't want there to be any secrets between us. love you.
girl, she's so terrified that she says, yes, of course, of course. And the imp, he spins the entire huge pile of straw into gold. And right before the king walks in, he disappears and the king opens up the door and he's so excited, he can't believe in it. He says, truly you are magical, he says. That's his voice. And then the very next day, the girl, she's married to the prince, right? And, and despite all the weirdness of this marriage, they actually really like each other. In fact, they fall in love. And two years later, that little girl, now a princess, is pregnant. Okay, um, thank you for that. Now, in the summer, she gives birth to this beautiful baby daughter, okay? But her, her happiness about this new little girl, it's, it's short-lived because guess who comes back? The imp, the imp reappears and he says, I've, I've come to collect my reward, he says, and the baby is mine. And the princess, she sobs, and she offers him, like, all the riches in the, in the kingdom. But he insists. He says, I want that baby. And she begs, she begs him, please, to... And finally, the imp says, okay. If you can guess my name within three days, you can keep the baby. But if not, the baby is mine, as we agreed. And he leaves. And the princess, she is distraught. I mean, she immediately sends all of her staff and her servants out into the kingdom to figure out this little imp's name. But by midnight of that first day, no one's been able to track down anything or the creature or his name. And the imp, he appears and he asks her, what is my name? And she guesses, is it David? And he laughs, he says, no, two more guesses, and he leaves. And the next day, nothing. Nobody comes back with any information, and he arrives again at midnight, and she guesses this time. No, 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 it's not. He says, no. <laughs> laughs the imp, okay? He says, no, and he leaves. It's not Stephen, and the next day, the princess is so upset because she doesn't know what to do. She only has one more guess, one more day. And so she leaves the baby with her servants and she just walks into the forest because she's so worried she's going to lose her baby. And she wanders and wanders all day and into the evening. She wanders and suddenly she comes on a small clearing, okay, in a little field. And in that little field is a little tent. And in the center of it, there is a little small fire and... She hides, she hides behind a bush, and out of the tent, to her amazement, out comes the imp. And he's dancing around the fire, right? And he sings, today, today, plans I make. Tonight, tonight, the baby I take. The princess will never win the game for Rumpel. Stiltskin is my name. And smiling to herself, the, the princess runs back to the castle because she heard his name. And the, that evening, the imp arrives, right? And he's, he's kind of gloating and he asks her his name. And the princess kind of looks sad. Yeah, she's kind of pretending to be sad. And she gnashes her teeth a little bit. But then she looks him in the eye and she says, your name's Rumpelstiltskin. And the imp, his eyes bulge, and he looks like he's gonna, he's gonna burst, and his head goes, I mean, red. He shakes it like he's gonna explode, and all of a sudden it's... Uh, oh, do you think he should? Okay, well, then Rumpelstiltskin ran away, and he never came back. And the princess became queen, and her daughter grew up to be a wonderful queen in her own right, and everyone lived happily ever after. Yeah? Yeah. That's a good question. Uh, I don't know, maybe he was, uh... Maybe he was lonely. It's just a story. You do? 
I guess. Uh, I mean, now that you mention it, most of the people in the story were bad. <laughs> you would? Okay. Well, honey, I, I, I have to go out, I'm afraid, so. But yeah, hey, you've got, hey, you got your glow worm, right? Oh, I love that name. That's a great name. All right, come here. Give me a kiss real quick. Mm -hmm. Love you, kid. Night, night. And he's not afraid of action. Honestly, sometimes it kind of scares me. He nearly killed Peter. I hate Peter. Okay. Well, there you go. All right, so you're gonna help us in that. Hmm? I'll take you to meet the others at Convergence. Fantastic. They'll hear you out. But let's talk about the details outside. Close this is not. Let's see. Sometimes it kind of scares me. He nearly killed Peter. I hate Peter. Okay. Well, there you go. All right, so you're going to help us in that. Hmm? I'll take you to meet the others at Convergence. Fantastic. They'll hear you out. But let's talk about the details outside. Close the places now. Let's see. Yeah. Hey, Prosperance projects are going to poison our communities for generations to come. They're already hanging them out to dry, right? Saginaw, Midland, Flushing, Flint, you name Stop it. Stop talking. You have them with the America and bombs bit. Just keep quiet. No matter how much you want to talk, people hate silence. Let them fill it. And then you and I will toast each other with some tofu dogs. Man, I miss sticks so much. Go get one right now. A method. I can't break character like that. <laughs> Plus, they can smell it on you. That girl of yours, Evie? She tasted it. Uh, Nick's Avery. What hell of a fucking job. Get off my book. You guys do it. Hey. Hey. I'll keep out of your hair.
try and mansplain Bohemian Rhapsody to me. I just can't. Um, just go figure out your own costume, please. Ooh, Don Draper? We'll shave it. Ooh, well, if I can grow a mustache, you can lose your beard. Or we can build your costume around it. Let's see. Famous characters with beards. Saruman? Mm-hmm. Bluto? Don't worry about it. Uh, the dude from 300? Joaquin Phoenix when he pretended to be a rapper? Come on. Okay, General Zod. <laughs> what, you don't want to be a bad guy? It's Halloween. <sighs> I gotta go. I gotta go. Figure it out. I gotta go. Goodbye. Ryan Mansplain Bohemian Rap. Because I'm not going to deal with any of this Donnie Brasco bullshit. Okay, good. Look, I'm sorry, Mike. It, we're getting to the hard part, man. And I'm getting nervous. I can't get tripped up here. Thank you, sir. Knife that stabs Green Storm in the heart. With the heart of gold to wake up your Snow White. With the heart of gold to wake up your Snow White. They're never wrong. Okay. Less cynical. You're here to save the planet. All right, review the files from Cyber. Natives arrest us. They've been accessing pipeline maps. You've got eight months till the next convergence. Just follow the protocol and stick to the plan. You're going to be the knife that stabs Green Storm in the heart. Knife that stabs Green Storm. His heart is in the right place. He's just hot headed. Okay, but maybe Eric is on to something, though. I mean, the Nazis, right? So decent people have to stand up to them. It what? Does standing up involve throwing punches? Yeah, maybe it does. This is a law enforcement issue. Okay, they have permits. The police are protected. That's them. right. That's exactly why someone needs to step up and do what the police should do, right? Because I'm sorry, all due respect, John, you're not going to stop these guys with a Facebook campaign. As a group, we abide by nonviolence. That's fine. And all I'm saying is, is I'm interested in putting my privileged white male able body where it can do some work, right? I heard what it was like in the Arbor in the 60s, and you were there, John. Look, we have to oppose the rally. We have to oppose the rally. David, we can't advocate for people putting themselves in harm's way. Okay, fine. You know what? I'm sorry. I'm going to have to excuse myself. It's David. fine, David. We're talking another time. Okay. Hey, you didn't have to leave. That's okay. I wanted to.
across the heart of Michigan, the pipeline would transport gas for export and sale outside of America. Look, the destruction caused by the pipeline, the risks of a leak, all for the sake of corporate profits. I mean, the pipeline is a disaster and a crime. The crisis in Kalamazoo River in 2013 would be nothing compared to a natural gas disaster. Already, groups of environmental soldiers are making camps along the pipeline route to block and sabotage the attempted construction. Yeah, but there are ways that you can help too. Easy ways that don't require you to get out of bed. <laughs> Check out the links below for details of everything we're talking through here. Prosperin is owned by its shareholders and investors, and they operate purely for profit. If we hit them financially, they will notice. Prosperin is traded on special exchange, which requires market makers to enable them to have their stock bought and sold. We uh, provided a list of all market makers currently used by Prosperin. That's down right there. And we are going to work our way down this list. <laughs> um, please call them up and tell them that you don't want them working with Prosperin. Call them when they're sleeping, email them a lot, send snail mail, make them feel unhappy enough to stop trading Prosperin. Let's cripple the company financially where they really feel it. Look, this is why the last year the Federal Bureau of Investigation called Green Groups the number one domestic terror threat. Really. Follow the money. And then find a way to take that money from the corporations who live to exploit the people. Ava and I are going to stay in this bed until this is done. <laughs> Stop the pipeline. Stay in bed.